so I've moved on to the Isha Upanishad and have been reading in there. And this morning I was reminded, we have to keep to the middle path. We have to understand that our goal is not to escape anything or to get out of anything, but our goal is to see rightly and to understand truly. You know, one of the big misgivings about this world, we sometimes often throw renunciation in there and think, oh, I have to give all this up, I have to give all this up, I have to give all this up. But Vivekananda makes it clear that it's not this that we have to give up. What we're trying to do is see things clearly so that like the master, like Sri Ramakrishna, when M came and complained to him how much misery there was in the world, Ramakrishna looked at him rather confused and said, what are you talking about? This is a mansion of mirth. So he, had, he lived in this same world that we lived in and was in ecstasy almost the entire time. Vivekananda goes on to say that the real uh, goal of religion, the goal of spiritual life, is, is not to take away all of the things that we enjoy, right? We've mentioned this before, that the goal of meditation, the goal of spiritual life, is to show us how to enjoy this world without getting caught in it because it's the getting caught in it that causes the misery. It's the attachment, which is a sign of misunderstanding, uh, that causes us so much pain in the world and so much sense of loss and such a confusion about who we are because our desires are orbiting around wrong thinking, wrong ideation. And so renunciation isn't giving up our favorite things. Renunciation is giving up our wrong idea about our favorite things the wrong ideas that actually make them favorite, <laughs> that make them better than the alternatives. And so in your practice, always be sure to pause and fill yourself with the joy of being, with the excitement of the beloved, because God is all of this, all of this beauty everywhere, all the time. The spirit of the divine is in every living being. One of my favorite poems by Hafiz is when he begs, when he bends down and scratches a stray dog under the chin and says to him, my beloved, I'm so glad that you have come to visit me today. Because he lives in the world of the divine. He has opened his eyes to the divinity of all things. This is his home. This is him himself, her, herself. This is an authentic manifestation of love in its thousands and thousands and thousands of myriads of manifestation. And your life is that. And what a wonder and what a joy and what a privilege to get the opportunity, the time, the space, the knowledge from the scriptures, from these great holy men and women who have walked before us and who have studied hard and worked hard to pass to, on to us this gold, this gold of the scriptures that teaches us the gold of life.